I'm Jason C. Brown from BJJWorkouts.com. I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite warm-ups, and it's not BJJ or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specific. You can definitely use it before your BJJ training, and you can definitely use it throughout the day. Sometimes if, if I'm feeling really beat up, I'll just do this little circuit, and uh, I'll feel the session, I'll leave the session feeling great, and sometimes it's enough for the day. Um, but you can definitely put it before any of your strength and conditioning workouts as well. All right, so I like to warm up initially first with the jump rope and we go for time, usually one minute, and then we break into some uh, body weight exercises done for repetitions, and I'll break those down step by step as well. So for the jump rope, it's just one minute, nice and light. You can use whatever, whatever skills you have here, you can run in place. Break out a skip if you need to, or if you want to, and do one leg, then the other. Alright. That's done for a minute. We actually do increase that time as, we, as our uh, athletes get more fit. From there, we move into a body weight squat. Sit back with the hips, weight is on the heels. I want to see your hip joint below your knee joint. Sometimes it will help if you throw your hands out. 45 degree angle to the floor, all right? Should be able to wiggle your toes in this down position. And then come up to full hip and knee extension at the top. 12 of those. Next exercise is something we call bootstrap. Sink into the full squat. So you can see from the front. I like to put in, uh, my hands into a prayer pose. And use my elbows to pry apart my knees. Really gets the adductors. Stay in that good squat position. Keep your chest nice and open. Back nice and flat. From here, extend the knees all the way. Get a good stretch in your hamstrings. Right back down. You don't need to do this every time. You can actually keep your hands on your feet. Keep your nice open chest. Back nice and flat. One, two, three, Four, five. From there, we stay in squat position. Right hand will go on right foot. Open up on the left side. Look up at that high hand. This is excellent for your thoracic spine. A lot of places, a lot, a lot of people lose mobility in their thoracic spine. Ooh, yeah. All right. From there. We actually move into something called a spider lunge with rotation. Again, addressing your hip flexors, hip extensors, and T-spine rotation or mobility. You can actually do a push-up in between each one. Left heel next to left hand. Try to keep this rear leg fully extended through the knee. Imagine touching the wall behind you with that heel and open up on the left side. So whatever leg is forward, that's what side you open up on. Back to the push-up position, right heel next to right palm, again keep this rear leg straight, fully extended, imagine touching the wall behind you with your left heel, and open up on the right. Push-up. Right. We usually do those for 12 repetitions, and then we go into something I call down dog, up dog. It is not pure yoga, and if there's any pure yogis in the audience, you probably won't like my form, but if we get into down dog here, try to get both your heels down. If you can't get both your heels down, definitely alternate. Sink through your shoulders here. Now watch my spine. Come up onto your toes. Really get that spinal rock or that spinal wave here. Weight will come onto your palms. Turn your feet under, get a good breath and look up. From here, you can actually add some rotation. Go back onto your toes, drive through your palms, try to get your heels down. You can, again, alternate. Spinal wave, come up onto your toes, round that back. More weight will go onto your palm, drop your hips. Turn your feet under. Now again, we do those 
for repetitions, usually about 12. If you run through that three to four times, you will feel great. It addresses the hip extensors, hip flexors, T-spine mobility, your shoulder joint mobility, everything is addressed. All right, try those out, try that sequence out. Thanks.